Hello guys and welcome to a new Memory of Chaos in Honkai Star Rail. So, once again we are going to clear the final stage, stage 12 of this cycle. Um, the stage buff is called Eve of Want and Feast and it's it, it's one of these very basic uh, stage effects where there's a trotter going to spawn at the uh, beginning of each wave for each cycle. The trotter takes double damage from basic attacks and darts. So, you know, characters like Kafka... Um, like Blade would work really well for this, but don't go out of your way <laughs> to, to get like a, you know, a basic attack character or a dart character for this, since uh, they don't really have a lot of HP, so it is totally fine to use other characters for this. Um, but anyway, once you kill the Trotter, it is going to apply um, a lot of dart effects on the enemies, and um, every dart effect that is currently already on the enemy when this happens... Um, is going to trigger again with 50% of the original damage. And um, those dots are going to stay for three turns. So this is going to be a lot of additional damage. Um, quite a nice thing. So if you can, try to kill the Trotters as well. They do help a lot. Okay, so let's get into my team setups here. Uh, we are fighting Yanching and Sam. Yanching um, was the lesser problem for me, since I have a very, a very good team for this fight. Uh, he has an imaginary and a wind weakness. When I saw those weaknesses, I immediately thought, wow, Blade and Luja, let's go. <laughs> so that's exactly what we are doing here. Um, they are being supported by Bronya and Ruin Mei. One of the two best, if not the two best, supporters for Blade. So very, very powerful team right here. Um, the second fight, however, that one is a bit more troublesome. Uh, Sam is very tanky. Um... They, I should say, they, <laughs> uh, they also deal a lot of damage. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, damage over time uh, basically happening in this fight as well. So I figured out Fujuan is not enough for this. When I achieved my first clear with three stars, I was using Fujuan and Hoho actually. So um, two sustainers. Um, let's try and figure out how we are doing this. Since Fujuan alone was not enough for this fight. Um, I think Ho Ho is a pretty good pick. Now let's check the weaknesses of Sam. Um, I also see a lot of imaginary weakness in here. So I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe putting in a weld here would help as well. Let's actually... Let's try this setup. Let's try Ting Yuan, uh, Jing Yuan, a weld and Ho Ho. So... Let's get into this. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so first fight. As I said, I'm not too worried about this fight. You will see this is going to be uh, quite easy. Get all the techniques up, engage with Blade. And there you already see the first Trotter. It's very scared. I do understand that. My team is very, very, uh, very scary looking. So, generally for this fight, uh, I'm not going out of my way to um, attack the Trotter a lot. But um, you always want to make sure that you deal some damage to it. Like, at some point, you do want to see it dead. As I said, it really does help a lot with the damage. We'll see that very soon. Boom. So, there we have our dots and all of the enemies. That was a little mistake. I should have used uh, Bronya's ultimate first, but not too much of a problem. Bam! So this is going to uh, dispel the buff on this enemy right here. So no reviving happening. You see that? The dots. They do quite a lot of damage. It's really nice. 
does help a lot. So, that takes care of the first wave. Now we are facing Yan Ching. The yeah, cool thing about the stage effect as well is that you don't really need to pay any attention to Yan Ching's uh, sword ads, since <laughs> the uh, the Trotter is going to take care of that. <laughs> nice, he didn't freeze blade. I like that. Yeah. That is looking pretty good. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. Nah, it's not. Unfortunate. <laughs> Almost killed him in this turn. But it's fine. It's fine. Kill him. Shoot him. <laughs> so, yeah, first battle. As you can see, not too much of a problem. Um, three cycles. It's a pretty good. So, second battle, however. That is my main issue, at least. I'm not sure if it's your issue as well. Bam. Bam on Sam. So let's use our Ting Yuan ultimate immediately. It's going to be a nice speed up for everyone as well. Thanks to her relic set and to her light cone. So, buff this guy up. <laughs> and yes, I'm still one of those uh, dance, dance, dance light cone users. <laughs> No regrets. Hmm. 
Yeah, it will be interesting to see if Ho can actually sustain this whole fight all by herself. I'm going to admit, <laughs> I'm usually kind of disregarding her since I own Fujuan and she's usually just, you know, basically enough to take care of everything, but yeah, this time we really need some healing for this fight. So, it's quite the interesting experiment right now. I'm gonna chill with Tingan's ultimate here, since I do think... We could get an ultimate off with Jingyuan. Perfect, yeah. So, use the ultimate now. Recharge. Already at half energy again. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this. Try now to even out the damage a bit here. Like, we don't want to kill an, uh, one enemy too quickly and then... We're basically using AoE attacks and one single enemy. That would be kind of, uh, yeah, inefficient. <laughs> Gotta say, I really love Hoho's ultimate. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very cool thing to have on a healer, especially. It's more like it's more like a harmony skill. Okay, so poke this guy, and now I guess we're just waiting for the Lightning Lord to finish this off. Yeah. Alrighty, here is Sam and uh, their squad. Okay, there are our dots. There's our buff. Second gear. Now the second gear. Yeah, this is the part where it gets kind of troublesome with Fujuan. Since uh, we are being dealt damage when we are using skill points. And we do want to use skill points. That's for sure. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's worth it to use the ultimate right here. Let's chill for a bit. Good choice. Good choice. But yeah, see that damage output from Sam? It's pretty huge. Hmm. 
Definitely need some good healing in here. The fight felt pretty safe with Hoho and Fujin. Not gonna lie, but yeah, I, I'm I'm certain it's not optimal to run two sustain units, right? No one wants to do that anymore these days. So. <laughs> Little, little fox girl is doing a pretty good job, though. I have to say. F full respect, full respect. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we survived the second gear. <laughs> Very nice. Now we have a lot of skill points to spend. Let's use them to heal up again. Wonderful. Pretty sure we're going through another one of those phases before the fight is going to finish. Uh, yeah, let's not use it. Actually, let's use it right now. We get some additional damage for the, the Lightning Lord. <笑>君らはこせえとし君らに選ぶ余地はない立ち切る私でもといに泣いてよ<笑> Here we go again. This is going to be very close, but I think it's going to work out. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's go all out. Come on, let's do it. Nice, okay. <laughs> so we did it, guys. Um, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I expected this to be at least one cycle quicker, but... It's basically the, the same exact amount of time as uh, when I did this with uh, Fujuan and Hoho -Ho with a double sustain setup. And that was actually, it felt a lot safer, <laughs> I have to say. This was my setup when I uh, first cleared this with three stars. And it was also with 20 cycles left, so right on the clock. 
I can imagine that if you have like a, a Kafka in there that makes a lot more use with these, um, the dot effects. Like she, she's probably the best damage dealer for this fight. I hope you guys enjoyed. We did it once again. Uh, Memory of Chaos has been defeated. And um, yeah, what can I say? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now that stuff comes again. I, I know, I know. It sucks. I hate doing this, but <laughs> if you guys want to support me, it would be really nice. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. Maybe even follow my uh, Twitch channel. It's going to be uh, somewhere in the corner over there. There's going to be a link to it. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying doing these videos for you guys. It's a lot of fun. And um, I hope to see you guys back again in two weeks when it is time for another uh, pure fiction again, I would assume. And uh, yeah, until then, have a lot of fun with the game. And I'll see you guys back in two weeks. Bye-bye.